Hello and welcome to my fifth Java beginner programming tutorial on SciI 1121 and let's go ahead and get started. Um, I still haven't figured out how to make my videos clearer simply because I made that last video about three minutes ago. Um, so as you can see I really haven't had time to change much and I didn't change anything. So as you can see I still have the same setup. We have 1.333 repeating here and you know I'm gonna just go ahead and oops, get rid of this because I don't need it and in this episode I'm going to teach you about strings and chars or cars and tomato tomato um so first things first you, what you need to do is is type instead of like double or int, this is string and you have to be sure to capitalize string. Um, and we'll name the string s equals, and what you need to do is put a pair of quotation marks here. Um, and that's because anytime you have a string, whether it's as a parameter, which we'll get to later, or in a variable, it needs to be surrounded by quotation marks. Just so that Java knows, oh, that's a string, I don't need to do anything with it, I just need to put it where it goes, instead of, wait, is this code? Error, error, error. So, um, and you may have also noticed that unlike the others, like um, int or double, this string is not turning pink or bold, and it's capitalized. The reason for this is that instead of it being like a built-in um, actual piece of code, it's an object. And we'll get to this a bit later. I don't even quite understand it to that to a very far extent. But all you need to know is that this is an object. Um, things like int and double are um, syntax things. So um, back to the string, um, what we want to do is in the quotation marks just put whatever you want to. I'm gonna put this is a string. And this isn't really useful for much right now. What we can do is just like we did with the int variables or the double variables, we can put the name of the string in the, in the print line method, run the program, and you see down here, this is a string. And, uh, see, it just finished um, exporting my uh, last video. So that is proof of how recently I made it. Um, well, back to this. Um, what it does is it takes a string, and this is why you put it in the quotation marks. It knows that this is, first off, one long unit, and second off, it doesn't need to do anything with this, so it doesn't need to do, like, an error message or anything. And what it does is it takes a string and puts it and replaces it with whatever text we might put in there. So the second thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the char or car variable. Um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. So what you want to do is hit, is type in char and then name it whatever you want. I'm doing C and then equals and this one you want to just put um, little apostrophes, not quotation marks, apostrophes around it. And the char variable only holds a single letter, like L, um, L for letter. See, if I try to type in letter, it gives me an error, invalid character constant. Um, so we can just put in like a capital or lowercase, whatever. And you can do the same thing here, C, run it and you get C. Um, so that is actually all I really wanted to talk to you guys about in this tutorial. 
Um, I want, I, I want to, no. I'm going to conclude the actual tutorial part of this video, and, um, finally, um, the reason I'm teaching you guys Java is, first of all, I, I think it's just a challenge doing programming tutorials, um, since I'm, like, young. And second off, because eventually I want to get to the point where I'm doing, like, uh, graphics and game tutorials, and the language I'm going to use is Java because it's like a cross-platform thing, it works on Linux, Mac, and Windows. So, um, that concludes this video, 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 that concludes this video, don't forget to subscribe, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye.